could love me or hate me You just like who can rate me But know that I just do me It's all gone out of the toilet You mind it just spoil it There's way too much fake MC Welcome to another episode of Crazy's Cookbook And today I'm honoured to be joined by Earth from the Flop Yes G Come on What's on the way today man? Right so as it's topical Halloween and that I yes. thought I'm going to do something with pumpkin I'm going to do a Sri Lankan pumpkin and chickpea curry Should be good so, yeah. Can you get into that now? I'm going to stop cooking with back with you in a minute Check it out the first thing we got to do yeah, is cut this pumpkin up because nobody ain't going to eat a curry with a big pumpkin like this in there. Uh, just real quick, yeah. Now, the, whatever wants to do is go like horror movie, go scream and start shanking it up, you know what I mean? But that's the illogical thing to do because these knives aren't that easy to cut with. Get yourself a bread knife, yeah, and decapitate it properly. I can, oh, gee. Like that. Then, I went too shallow on it, that one. But then you've got this, yeah? So get your hand in there, make sure you've got clean hands. And rip it out, get the guts out, because all of this is nasty. You don't want to eat that. All the pith, all the seeds. Stinking. Yeah, I don't know if I like the smell of pumpkin either, but trust me, that goes when you cook it. Okay, I've got the insides out. Most of the, the pith on the outside is gone, and all of the seeds, because you don't want that in your curry. Um, so yeah, just chop it up into manageable size pieces. It's probably the best way to do it. Because if, yeah, if you've got bits too big, you can have a nightmare when it comes to chopping it up into cubes. Like that. And then in half again. Like that. And then the back should just come off real easy. But probably swap knives and peel it down with this one. That's a bit easier. Use a peeler for it if you want, but it's a bit dangerous. Live on the edge. And voila, that is the end part of the pumpkin right there. You get rid of a bit more of that loop inside. Flour, start. Chop that up into cubes. A whole lot of people ain't really about it, they just started putting on front. I've been out on the grind since day dot. I beg when you try to say no. If anyone wants to say that. I'm going to build the sauce up first and get the spices in the mix first because uh, when you're cooking a vegetarian dish like this, uh, pumpkin, it's, like you don't have to cook it so long and let the, the flavours sink into it like you do meat. Um, so you want to get the sauce and everything up already first. So I'm going to smash down some garlic as usual. I've done some already. And uh, yeah, chop that up. Okay, I'm going to get some ginger and I'm going to do the same with that. I'm just going to chop that up into little pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the garlic in there first. And add a little bit of oil on top. So I start cooking through. And I will get cumin. It's a good base for the flavor in there. A nice size amount of cumin on top of that. I'm gonna go for some ground coriander. On top of that. And then I want paprika on there as well, nice amount of paprika and some curry powder. Then I'm going to get some spring onions, I'm going to clean them off, chop them up quite finely and then chop them in with the spices. Now I'm going to get a half decent sized onion in there as well to go with the spring onion as well. You love the onion flavour in the curries and it stops out the sauce as well. It's a good base. It just works really good with it. So. Now I cut that in half. Run it down with my fingers in a triangle. Oh, I've it popped out. Yeah, I'll put it 
stop, then you're crazy, love. I ain't rapping. Come up against me, you can't win. Try and start getting eaten like planting. Now there's no hope, man, there ain't no joke. You might have voice, no, they don't want no smoke. I make checks, they'll live off the flavor. Right? Move and leave the bars where you barely make that. Think you can run your At this point now, once I've got the onions in there, they've softened up a little bit. You don't want them too soft. But I'm going to put the chickpeas in because these take uh, the longest probably to take on the flavor and they're the toughest in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put them in now and then start getting the flavor. I've drained all the cheese out of that as well. At this point, I'm now going to put on some of the more yeah, the more aromatic stuff like the cinnamon. Yeah? Uh, I would usually use a cinnamon stick. I haven't got one. So a cinnamon powder would do. A fair bit of that's on there, that's fine. Um, and I'm going to put a touch more curry powder in now because I'm going to spice up the mix. But you only want about two um, two tablespoons of this stuff in there because it's quite strong anyway. Okay, next into this, I want lemongrass. Now, I've got the paste. Um, I find for a dish like this, when you're leaving it in the sauce, um, you can pick it out and it's not going to have that woody effect. But to make sure you get the actual flavour out of it, and the reason I'm shaking this around is you can pass it out with one of these first. Properly beat it down and that allows it all to come out. And then tie a knot in it if you can. If you can. Probably not long enough. You just twist out. Oh well. Well that. Like that. And that'll get all the flavours to come out. Now I'm going to put in a simple red chilli. I'm just going to chop that pretty finely. Because uh, I want that to disappear into the sauce. And for people not to be able to pick it out. And I want to actually burn your faces. But now this, this isn't that hot. When it comes to the, the Scoville scale, this is quite light compared to some of the other chilies that we use. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that straight in there. At this point now, I'm gonna put the ginger in. As I say, the more aromatic stuff in later, because uh, I find that losing this flavor um, if you put it in at the start, whereas when you're just using it for the sauce, it really brings out the highlights of the flavor. Okay, now I am going to put in coconut milk. Now this stuff, yeah, I was going to say it's a bit of square, so be careful with it. This is going to change the whole dynamic of the dish now. But get it all in there. And because there wasn't much coconut in the can, I've got this chunk of cream coconut uh, that I've got here. So I'm just going to chop that and put that into the dish as well. We want to bring out the coconut flavours in this. It really does make a big deal. Um, so I'm chopping out really finely, almost like razor blade then along it. And I'm just going to dump that on top. And quite simply, all I'm going to do is just dump that in there. This is the sauce base. And we are pretty much ready to chuck uh, some pumpkin in there. I'm going to chuck a little bit of water in there as well. Just because I'm going to leave the pumpkin in there for 20-30 minutes to take all the flavours. Um, but yeah, like that's that's pretty much your base. That's nearly ready to go. So rice. Today I'm going to be doing basmati rice. It's a good, strong, long grain, like fibrous rice. So yeah, I'm gonna do about two cups of this because there's a few of us eating today. So I do like four or five people. And for two cups, I'm gonna want three cups of water. I'm not really sure. But make sure you clean the rice as normal. Okay, with the rice, quite simple. I'm gonna slap a whole green chili in there. Yeah. I'm gonna chuck some Himalayan pig salt. Okay, now uh, the water has gone to a rice level. What I'm gonna do is turn this onto a low heat and I'm gonna cover this up. This is ready to chill for about 10, 20 minutes and soften up. And now I've got the rice covered up. It is time for me to put this pumpkin, the star of the show, into the mill. I'm just going to drop that in and mix that over. Make sure it's all thoroughly coated in the sauce. And I'm going to leave that to cook down for probably about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, just until it's starting to soften up. But we don't want it to fall apart. Okay, and just to fill it out a bit, I'm going to chuck a little bit more water on top before we leave it to rest. As you've seen at the start of the episode, I've been here joined today by Earth and Don't Flop. Uh, he's come on today because, well, mainly, you know, just, you know, the food, of course. To be honest, that is the main reason. 
but <laughs> we're also promoting this event that's coming up on uh, the 13th of November. Uh, yeah, that, the last one in Bristol was fantastic, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, Bristol's cool. been cutting the seconds. I mean, how long has it been since the last one? Well, it's, it, by the time we get to this event, it will be. 19 months. That's a long time. Yeah. Right, don't stop, man. Yeah, 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 people yeah. are cooking at it. I mean, uh, the last one was brilliant. Uh, there was all kinds of mad politics that happened. <laughs> and I think that, that lasted probably six months after. It did. Yeah, it, it did. did. It did. It did. It was great. But I was on the phone to you. I was on the phone to you in my back garden, sitting, sitting in my shorts and my shirt, <laughs> I'm fucking un, undone, like, and my sunglasses on and a, and a milkshake and shit on the phone to you, being like. It's, 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 it's July, bro. Why are we still talking about something? It's mental, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> From February. Yeah. Like, but this, this, this is, is how much Don't Flop actually secretly means to people's lives. Bro, trust know? me, trust me. Like, yeah, and we got roots down here because of you, especially being oh, one of the originals. Do you know what I mean? I you, were, you were probably within the first, probably. You were probably one of the first 20, 25 people to ever battle. Yeah. Do you, know, you think about it, really? No, no, no. So it's like, done, yeah. well, I was the very first time. Time. on the first battle on the, the Bristol event. Yeah, exactly. So I remember you said and we hadn't done too many events, but yeah. that, that was probably our like 10th event. Oh, I, in I, total, I, yeah. I, I Probably about 10. Yeah, one yeah, well, of the original ones. I'm saying, man. Okay. So I thought it was like just a South So it's true. It's like, it's banner. I know it's banner to me. Like, it means a lot, but it does. Both lot means. A lot more to people than they sometimes want to admit. Well, I, I when someone like you, 10, 15 years later, come exactly. up to me and go, crazy from the flop, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm not going to even front like it has done well, so yeah, big yeah. up for. But that's what I'm saying, someone like you, you embrace it. You've always embraced it, and not just me, but anyone that shows you love, you're always like, yeah, I embrace what you do, blah, blah, blah. So, with don't flop, you've always been like, don't flop's important, don't flop's this, blah, blah, blah. Whereas other people, they've kind of been reluctant to. Yeah, Max Dush, to, and that, to that, know what I mean? Even if it's given them a lot, they've been a little bit more. Whereas me, I'm like you, if someone if someone brings me on something, I'm always. Come I'm, on, like, it's, it's so much more fun to. We don't do no bomb licking, real, real. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's really good and stuff, you know what I mean? <coughs> and it's really what it is. So I fully back and support what I'm doing. That's what I mean, like, with, day, in the UK, you know? especially, one of the, I think one of the worst, like, I, I don't want to say pandemic, as I call it, one of the worst ongoing things in the UK is this idea that showing love is dick riding. This thing is a big, Bro, it's a big problem in the UK. And UK that, that's why, that's why we like the crap in the bucket mentality, putting yeah, yeah. each other down. And, all that, and it's always like, and you, you show someone life. love, you, you show someone love, and straight away someone's like, oh, why dick riding? It's like, I'm not dick riding, bro. I'm Respecting the game, the you know, respecting you know the fulfill, innit? Yeah, but so, yeah. there are a lot of fake people out here, so maybe that's why they're so nervous because they don't want to be exposed to be a fake people. That aside, battle is great for that, you know. It's so true, you know, true, if, true, you're, true. if you're gonna pick off someone because of these things, this is the perfect place to do it. I mean, if, you, if you've not been to a rap battle tournament before, it's not a war. It's, it's not like the horrible place. It's like two of your favorite stand-up comedians going true, at each other, true, 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 straight each other. And I, I highly true. recommend that you come along if it's your first time. Um, if, if it's not, then you know you're in for a treat anyway, but I mean, line up, Crafty, Shuffle T. Now, um, I've clearly got my favourite, Big Up Shuffle. <laughs> I like Crafty, I think he's wicked, he's from Bristol as well, so he's a hometown hero. I should not be supporting the other time, but, but Shuffle the boss, you know what I mean? Um, just a real drill. drill. Uh, and you, you, gotta, you gotta speak on that, because you know. Well, it's like, it's, it's one of them ones where like, I genuinely in battles, I've always got people that like, Deep down, every battle I've ever set up, I've always got in my mind who I think might win. And I've also got who I think deserves to win. Yeah. And they're not always the same person. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? But I never, you'll never see me online. Obviously, it's a bit unprofessional of me. You never see me online being like, oh, this event we got coming up. These are all the people I predict to win. It's yeah. not, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. But like, deep that for the bloggers. Isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And obviously, like, with with this title match, I understand that Craft is the champ. I know Shuffle's a favourite. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, it's, so it's like, no, it's, like <coughs> so Kraft's up, really up against it, even though like you said, he's from Bristol, he's in Bristol, he's based down here still. Here we bring a lot of people to the event to come see him. Yeah. But it's like, overall, Crowd reaction that all that, that's, been, as I found out before. Yeah, like, but, you know. all that aside, he might have all those things in his favour, but, but Shuffle's still, the guy right now in the grand scheme of things he's still the guy but so. either way it's going to be a great battle yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be dope as fuck don't ever write don't ever count crafty out like just because no. just because he might not have the pizzazz around his name the shovel has 
Yeah, nah, that's going to make it, he's aware of that. He's going to be working extra hard on that basis. He's not ever going to be. He's not, he's not stupid to ask what his opponent's going to be, so I think yeah, that could be a, a exactly. real good battle. So, yeah. And, and yeah, it's for like, people always just take the piss, which I think is fair enough. They always just take the piss out of flop, being like, oh, if you're a champion, don't flop. You don't get anything for it. Yeah. So obviously, that kind of kicked me into gear. Yeah. And Kraft was actually the first champion that got, amazing, isn't it? When he got, he got a press. Press got the ring. Press was the first person to get the okay, ring. Yeah, the, the that. ring. <laughs> Press was the first person to get the ring. Kraft was the first, first person to get a, a, a legit trophy. I just trophy yeah. as well. So yeah. it means more now. So it's like, yeah. so it's like, obviously, if, Shaw, if Kraft wins again, yeah. he'll actually. It's not like I'm gonna put him off and be like, "Well, you've already got one trophy." <laughs> yeah. Get another one. Do you know what okay, I mean? Okay, so you can fill up his shelf with them as well. He'll get two trophies. Yeah. Right, okay. So, okay. but if Shaw wins, that'll be Shaw getting his first trophy. Do you know what I mean? Right. So, that so it means more now, bro, because yeah. it's like it's exactly it's like you would you allow the battle piece. It's you wouldn't be cool. playing in the Premier League. Yeah. Try. Try not win the fucking title if you just got a handshake, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, that they was. They get that me. paycheck though as well, yeah? Uh, it's true, that's no, true, and that's the same with battle rappers. Like any yeah. title match we've ever had, mm. people have been paid yeah. a nice sum that's to do it. Part, but yeah. it's like, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not pig headed in that way. Like, <coughs> if, you, if you give me if you give me advice, I think it's valid advice, I'll listen to it. Yeah. So it's like, when I saw this running joke, Starting to get going about like someone said it in a battle. I think it was you know Ill Mac, the battle of Ill Macula. I, th I think right. it was Ill Macula. I think it was him. He said he said something about like if it, basically it was a joke about like if you win a title in that floor, it's just a, a name on a piece of paper right. because there's no there's no trophy, right? right? right. So, yeah. so and yeah. I said I heard that and yeah. I thought you know what I got. Up. Yeah. I can either be a dickhead and pretend to have some respect on his name, or I can actually put some respect on his name and be like, you know what? That's actually a fair point. Yeah. I should really give him a prize. I should start stepping my game up a little bit more. Yeah. And I said, and when I, and when I presented, you can see how much it means to people because when I saw Kraft at our event in August, yeah. first time I've seen him since he won. Obviously, he won February 2020. Yeah. I haven't seen him since then. August this year, I seen him oh, for the right. first time. When I presented him the thing in the box and he opened it, you can see the guy was elated. Yeah. Like and I thought, shit, this really means. A lot. Like what we're saying about some people pretend it means nothing. Some people, yeah, nah, Kraft was always very much like, yeah, yeah. you know, he started battling in 2015. He was always like, you know, to start battling in 2015 in mean, five years, being a stage to be a champ, that means a lot to people. So it's like, so when, when I give him to that, you know, and when you see that, crafty, man, like you're boss for that. Yeah, trust yeah. me. So it's like, I know now, now I know going forward, we've set the precedent. It's not like yeah. we can't go back now and start going. Well, we've given out one trophy, now it's back to just a handshake. Get a t shirt. Yeah, no, no t shirt. Oh, no, 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 exactly. <laughs> so now going forward, yeah. I think That's everyone's going to be yeah. a little bit more of a focus on, like, oh, if I start battling the right people within it gives them two years, I might be. Could be holding up that and it'll only get bigger, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. then it's like in, in five years' time, who yeah. says the, the title might not be a fucking yeah. cup? Do you, you know what I mean? You never know what it might be. Once the events are bringing the money that pays for the cup. There you go. Um, exactly. that many people coming to the events, then the cup forget more. I'm sure. So, so, so it's a good title, Max. Like I said, Shoff, Shoff, even though Shoff's not the, the title holder, he's definitely the, the main contender. He's definitely the yeah. favourite. Yeah, yeah, and I see that. I see Which that. Is, and that's just, that's not my personal opinion. That's just, that's just what it is. The, the, the consensus is that he's a favourite. I mean... If there was bookies taking bets on it now, there would be some odds flipping around. But uh, look, let's, let's see what Crafty does. I'll pick up Crafty anyway. I'm and one more thing as well. Yeah. If if Shoff does win, yeah. he'll be the first person ever, ever, I think in the history of a battle rap, to be 2-on-2 two two champion and uh, solo Ooh. champion. Okay. So he's Which coming is crazy. Like that. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. A, yeah. So that's... That's some Tyson Fury flex. That's, that's mad. Right? Yeah. He, so I'm like, that's, I don't think Shuff, Shuff is not exactly like trying to build his name, his name is built. Yeah. So I don't think he's trying to be champ to build his name. I think he just loves the idea. It's another him. string on the bar, isn't it, you know? To yeah. be able to say to people, I'm this and this, that's crazy. Yeah, that works. For life, you would he not want that? I'm sure he would, uh, as much as you're down talking it, I bet he wants it just as much as And somebody, time, you know? every event we have, somebody updates, I don't, know who, I don't know who does it, but every event we have, someone updates our Wikipedia page with every, every champion and whatever. Yeah. So it's like, I know whoever it is that does it, yeah. if Shuff does win the next day on the Dome from Wikipedia, it will say, <laughs> first time ever, Shuffle T is now double champion, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 
Yeah. So we'll see what happens, innit? We'll see what happens. No, nah, fair, fair. And right, yeah. anyway, next one. Yeah. Danny Jack, Milo. So Milo would be Shuffle T's doubles partner. So he's the other two into a champ, yeah. I mean, I think... He's just getting back into solo battling now. Yeah, now he's really good. I've really? watched a lot of his really standalone good. battles. Um, I know Danny Jack's a really funny guy. Yeah. Um, and... He, I, I don't know. I think Marlowe's probably the favourite in my eyes there. It's like two it's like two funny guys, but Marlowe's probably the favourite because I love how these are total predictions are instead of just as advertising. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're as excited as everyone else, really, you know. I mean we yeah, want to see yeah, the battles, yeah, yeah, you know. Awesome. Look, Danny, you got your work cut out for you hard. Yeah. Don't mess it up, don't get drunk in it, that's the one in it, you know? I, that's kind of what that's kind of it's, it's funny I say this with a quirky voice, but before his last battle in August, I was I was I was re I went really hard on him, and I was like, bro, don't do what you, don't do what you do every battle. I was like, please, don't turn up with a croaky voice, yeah. and then blame your croaky voice on why you sucked. Yeah. I was like, take this shit seriously and do well. And to his credit, he took it seriously. Okay, I don't he took it. He didn't go out on the set the week before. <laughs> he turned up in his thing. So with this one, he he was Marlo actually requested the battle. This is the funniest thing about okay. it. Okay, Marlo. Yeah was like, I just want to do solo battles that I can just flex a little bit in, right? Yeah. I don't want to do, he don't want to do some title match where he's got a break, so he don't give a fuck about any of that. He was like, give me someone like Daddy Jack, yeah, where I can just have a fucking joke yeah. for three rounds that's, and be like, good. you're a waste man, baby. The thing is, it's so when I spoke to Daddy, I said, pressure on him. <laughs> I said to Daddy, I said, I got an opportunity for you, and I was like, <laughs> I know you're going to take it before I even tell you what it is. No. When I text him and tell him, you can imagine his response, he was like, yes, 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 yes in every language you can imagine. Like, tick, 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 tick. Yeah. He was just like, Marlo. He was like, yeah, he was like, this is the kind of battle I've been waiting for forever, bro. bro I was like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So that's going to be really, really I think fun. it's going to be a funny battle. No matter what, you're going to walk away laughing from that one. I think that's 100%. it. Now, underneath that, you carry on, bro. Uh, underneath that, we've got Matter versus Lazy. Now, Matter is uh, Luna C's uh, battling partner from before when he was doing the doubles, and he, he's just got a long career. He's been battling yeah, for a long time, man. Um, yeah, I, I think Lazy, Lazy was Lazy Ass Jack uh, from yeah. the London yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, So you have seen him battle? Yeah, yeah, I had to look up for Boss My Neck to see him battle, but yeah, I mean. Uh, he gets taller every time you see him. He's a bit alternative to. He's clever and he's funny and his jokes are good, but I think he's. Not so much of a rapper, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think Matter, as much as he's like more sarcastic and everything like that, I, I, yeah, I got Matter on that one. Yeah. Uh, right, so we're at Kitch. Now, that's the saxophone player that you said that you've known for like days, he's been from supporting day, you from top. And he's versus Canal, who's been like uh, doing a lot for the league and stuff like that. Yeah, and, yeah. and he's just, he's done for a lot of things. Yeah. He's done the online tournament. And, uh, I don't think you man. You know, just this way. I remember some of your judging decisions, you were just like, I was, I just think I was generally pissed from lockdown a little bit, yeah. you know, and then when you get sent some dead ass video and you can't judge it, like, anyway, it's not. <laughs> no, but it's true, I, th I think the difference is like, your one that you did is on beat, so even, yeah. even if people are not that mind blowing, there's still a bit of like a bounce to what you're watching, yeah. whereas if you're watching and obviously acapella battle is not meant to be done by a phone. It's yeah. meant to be like Yeah, live, but that's it. Yeah. So I, I get it. If you're watching I've yet to see him live, <laughs> so I think they can do that. Yeah, he and he's good. But I get it. If you're in your bedroom, like you said, you're pissed because it's locked down. <laughs> yeah. There's no beat. Someone's got a style that's a bit off key, you don't really fuck with it. I can see how you're like no, it's the same it just, yeah. But look, <coughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the battle, but yeah. I think it's gonna be good. Uh, but he and the format in that battle is the one we've never done before, so it's gonna be Two round battle. Yeah. Oh, First okay. round is one round written, maybe three minutes. Yeah. Second round is going to be freestyle, no time limit. Okay. Yeah. So, so a new, another new I format. Mean, it's interesting. Like, they can I, both freestyle. I know for a fact they can both freestyle. I'm going to be so, watching. So, no so they can turn up some bars, fuck about for a bit, and then for as long as we can do it for before it gets boring, just yeah. freestyle back to back. Yeah. That's the shit I started battling. I, was, I love that shit. I think that, that could go either way, and it could be exactly. great. And, it, and I think sometimes. So where I was the favourite because he's he's the, it's hard to explain. Like he's like the outcast, which in this situation makes him the favourite because people have seen Canel quite a lot. Yeah. They haven't seen Swell for a minute. Right, so right. Swell, when he's back, it's like, oh, he he had a clash for a year. Yeah, I'm yeah, fucking yeah. with him. Yeah. So it almost works against Canel. Like Canel's done so many clashes in the last two years. You see so much of it. You see so much of it. You're like, yeah. you, you're like, oh, I've seen him do that. He might do okay. Sweat I remember. I was like, when was your last battle, bro? Oh, yeah, good yeah, to see yeah, you, man. That's how it works. Same as someone like Marlon. 
Because da- Danny Jack just battled on Don't Forget. Like I said, he did okay in August. Yeah. But someone like Marlowe, it's been a minute since he's done a serious. He did like a one round battle a couple of years ago for us, but it's been a while since Marlowe's done like a real serious. Yeah. So it's I'm saying, so okay. Marlowe's almost instantly the favourite. Because yeah. people are just like, I want to see what you say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, now the next one, we've got Crow, who's like a kind of a new guy. Yeah, yeah, very new, very new. And uh, Balski. Yeah. Now, Balski, I think, is just one of my favourite rap battlers and a favourite people in the league in general. I just think he's hilarious in general, you know what I mean? So, what um, what, 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 what attributes about Balski makes him one of your favourite? Um, he's corny, but in the right ways, <laughs> you know? Like, he, he'll bust Tom Jones and, it, and he'll, he'll do some, some he's corny stupid. in the right ways. Nah, but like, come on, he'll, he'll go buttoning his bed coat on you halfway for a battle and you don't even realise and you're laughing. No, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Like, uh, and, yeah, but he'd say the same thing. Yeah. Even if I know, I know this. Yeah, I know Bozzy well enough to know. He'd say the same thing about you. Even if he couldn't quote one by you said in the battle. If yeah. I said, "Oh, crazy's bad," I mean, I know Bozzy say the same thing. Yeah. Bozzy be like, "Oh, I remember him, man. He was a good. He, he was a, a good laugh. He was, man. Well, he, that's what he'd say. He just because that's he's the same he's as got you. Like, no one sort of that. that yeah, trust me. Well, no, I think uh, where he was quite a big with Jolly, and he carried himself. He knew himself. You know what I mean? Trust me. I think honestly, he's one just comedy. He's been just in so many comedy. battles now that like you can't say nothing about about him. Like that's true. He said. So he's just jokes, jokes, jokes. He's like uh, another Roche, but you know, like one of their kind well, of. Well, he's one of his first. Or I came from his first or whatever battles was on Shade. For real? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, I don't think, it might have been, it was either his first battle or his second battle. Yeah. I didn't set it up. I just turned up to the event and hosted it. It was obviously like, I don't even really have a clue who this guy Bosky is. Yeah. He battled on Shade and like you said, did the fucking singing, spin. Spinning I was like, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> really right, it makes me laugh at this. Yeah, really you're right, you're right. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, don't, uh, I think Bosky, that's my favourite, but. Crow is sick though. Crow is, he's, he's. He's less your kind of battler. He's, oh, he's, he's more of like a 2021 kind of battler. He's very much about like clever bars and he's like super intricate lyric, but he's got yeah. mad potential. Yeah, I've got some nice stuff. I, I am a bit, I like jokes. Not jokes over bars, the whole we've had this chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's a joke's a bar, if you say it right, you know? Yeah. Um, I think you'll I think you'll you'll fucking quote when you see him yeah. when you see him live and obviously you'll enjoy that kind of battle more because you're someone who's followed Bosky so yeah. jokes quote makes about Bosky you'll get do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. I, I think you, I think you'll really fuck with him because yeah, yeah. he'll he'll have some he's he'll not crow he's too much of a modern battler to just give it the whole like oh you fat fat it'll be some clever you're fat because of this do you know what I mean that you'll like it you'll you'll fuck with it you're looking forward to that one all right so then we got uh for me from bristol yeah. versus just trev um again i've not seen you said just trev's got one battle that's not yeah, out yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. i think i've seen a clip of it uh i also know for me because he won the last man standing uh rap battle tournament that we did uh, the second season um uh, but yeah i, I worked with him anyway he, he, Look, for me needs to start winning some battles, yeah? I just said, <laughs> for me, you gotta do this, man. Got you, man. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Keep, don't keep telling. Yeah. What? Expand. <laughs> nah, like, like, he come around, nah, I can't, I don't want to pass my boy in it, yeah? But like, he come around the other day for a cooking show, yeah? And he lost the battle the day before and he didn't even mention it, do we? <laughs> um, we might have to get him to do the hot pepper before the clash. Oh, God, yeah, like, you see, that, that really worked out well for him as well. Look, uh, look for me. You can do it, man. He got you, man. You can do it, now. He I can, know. he can, he can. Yeah. He nah. can. He just needs to just. He needs to just believe in himself a bit more. Yeah. You can achieve it. <laughs> it's true. Battle rap is not just lyrics. Oh, that's fine. Battle rap is fucking self-belief. is a huge part of it. You got, you got to sell. If your bars are whack, it doesn't matter. If you sell them, like they're the best punchlines ever. For me, for me, has good written bars. But he spits them like he hates himself. Yeah. You gotta cut that out. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe in cut yourself. That out. I agree, I agree with when that. When you're yeah. in the circle and the yeah, camera's on. I might include Stop, stop bro. Yeah, come on. You know, <laughs> stop the hip and bad t shirt. Own that shit, you know? Own it, like, literally. You just can do it, man. <laughs> right next, yes, yeah, sorry. Cotton Shanks versus Refresh. Now, uh, Cotton Shanks, he's a G. I know yeah. a lot from online. He's come to so many different events. Yeah, he does, he does, he does. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, big up Cotton Shanks. Good to see you actually on the Don't Flop team. Is yeah. this his first one? Second one, second, second one. Yeah. Second. Um, and Reverse, that's... Is that it's his it? second one too. Okay, yeah. so two relatively new ones. Yeah, super new, super new. Yeah, no try out crowd this time. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Both, they both have one clash each. 
I don't, neither of them have even seen each other's battle, I don't think, because it's not out. Right. Um, but they'll be able to have seen each other before they battle each other, you see what I mean? They haven't yet. Okay. They will, they will be able they'll to. They'll get a bit of time they will to battle they, from each other. Battles. They will, they'll probably yeah. get maybe like a week where they'll get to see I each other. And go back to change all of their yeah, lives. Probably, yeah, they'll yeah, probably yeah. be like, oh shit, Carl Shanks is black. <laughs> 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 but, because they, they literally, unless they've done some research, well, they won't, they won't they have a clue. Really but like, I, so that's why I shout out to them too because they put a lot of faith in me because I set the conversation up yeah, on Facebook yeah. and I said, look, I said, guys, I know you're going to be a bit dubious about this because obviously you can't really, you, you know, obviously, come on, Shanks, he's had little clashes here and there, but he's not got too much footage online that's like solid, really shows what he's about. Yeah. So I was kind of going on a whim with him really and then with Reverse, he's just somebody that, Shuffle T co-signed, like Shuffle T just kind of met him on a random one through Twitter or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He co-signed him and said you should really start booking this kid he's yeah, brand new yeah. he's young like he knows what he's talking about i, I tell you it's gonna be good so i kind of set up a conversation up and said look neither of you really know each other yeah. but i was like you're the two up and comers i've probably got the most faith in right now right so yeah. i was like let's just put you in a clash a big event yeah, i was like neither of you have been to bristol because that's what we talked about the radio that night like people who ain't been to bristol yeah. it's like starting to tick off the bucket list yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it might seem it's just it's, 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 like, it's not like it's not like oh bruv like come you've got to come to kettering you know? it's not the same it's like yeah. people who haven't been to bristol are like you can easily tell them, oh, come take this class because you get to come to your new city, yeah. you're going to get lit afterwards, there's going to be girls. I mean, there's there's what I mean? That's what I'm saying, bro. So with them two, I was like, look, it's a new crowd. Neither of you have really battled in front of a big crowd. Calm down. Yeah. It, you'll have a fresh start. And this is kind of what I told half of them on the card. Like, it'll be brand new fans. Yeah. They'll all be gassed to see you. You'll make, you'll make new fans, you'll blah, blah, blah. You can, you've got your own merchandise. You can sell your fucking merchandise, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So it's like, it's a whole new experience for all of them. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to it, bro. Trust me, I bro. think it's going to be great. So, just to, end, to, to put cap on this, uh, Saturday, Saturday, the 13th of November, 13th of November. an Arctic bar, nice. yeah, Stokes Croft, uh, which is attached to the full moon in case you get lost and confused. Uh, but yeah, it's a great, great club. We've got Vicky and Inky and everything like that, yeah? But bro, thank you for coming can't through. Wait. I can't it's going to be a wicked event. You know, I'm going to be right out there with you co-hosting on my fucking head. What yeah. was that comment? Like, what was that comment on the last videos? So it was like, why is... The Russian. So, so like, why is Erstan uh, hanging out with Ukrainian people smugglers? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I nobody believes I'm from England, yeah. Type where you think I'm from in the comments underneath or something like that. Like, we're, we're trying to trace my roots back because obviously I'm not sure. But the, as he said, the truth is, I've been here since the start. Yeah, I've always been about. You know, I've just been lurking. A bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, uh, bruv, big up. I'm looking yeah, to um, um, yeah, we'll, I'll be offered a taste in a minute. But yeah, thank you for coming through, my G's. Right, this uh, takes a very short amount of time to do. The, the sauce is pretty much ready to go, so I'm going to drop a whole bag of spinach in there, <laughs> and I'm going to let that shrink down. So you can get yeah a lot of spinach in there. That will literally just all go into the sauce. It looks like it's a lot, but believe me, that, that will turn to nothing very quickly. And uh, also, what I want to do is very loosely chop up some coriander. Loosely cut that across. Nice round big lumps on there. And I'm going to take about three quarters of that. So I want something for the garnish, and I'm going to chuck that on top. That. I'm just going to let that sink down, and I'm going to turn that over. Okay, I'm gonna get some of these things, these lemon grasses now. Need to take these out and throw them in the bin. Because all the flavour will have come out now. And you don't want that in your mouth because it'll be like eating a tree. No matter how much I beat it down. Uh, right, another thing I want to get in there is some salt and pepper. I wanted to make sure I tasted it properly before I salted up. But pepper's always good in this. And I keep the ratio a bit higher, more pepper than salt. And uh, another thing I want to do, get some lime juice in this as well really bring out the flavour in there. So, your fingers straight in the lime. I'll get juice here if you're squeamish, but yeah. Get that flavour in there, no matter which way. Okay, and now I'm just gonna check the rice. That is looking absolutely perfect. You see the green has gone out of the chilli, that's now gonna be the flavour in the, in the rice as well. But I'm just gonna serve this up, and we're gonna get to tasting. Here it is, the, the finished dish. Uh, so yeah, it's not just pretty pictures online. No, I, at all. I promise I'm not bribing you enough in like, to that have a taste. Let me know your, your genuine thing. Of course.
That's good. Alright. Love that. See, you know, yeah, if that was nasty, you'd have roasted me as well. Like, you took any it. opportunity to go on. Yeah. I would have enjoyed that more because I'm a prick. <laughs> but I can't. I can't. Is that alright, yeah? Delicious. So I've done. So yeah, I was gonna say, what is what is this thing? Right. What, what is it called? It's a uh, Sri Lankan. Uh, it's a dish I've from a Sri Lankan person. So it's actually authentic Sri Lankan. Um, it's it'd usually be butternut squash and chickpea curry. Mm -hmm. um, but I've replaced the butternut squash with pumpkin. Mate, um, it's banging. I mean, just because it's Halloween coming up in it, so it makes sense to do it. But to be fair. Pumpkin and butternut squash, the same, same beast anyway, it's just different shape, similar flavour. Uh, look, I don't usually do uh, meals without meat, so if I was going to do it without pumpkin, I'd probably do it with chicken or fish, yeah. so it takes on the flavour. And if you had to pick chicken or fish, which one would you pick? Ooh, probably fish. Fish. Yeah, but um, again with fish, you want to chuck it in quite late into the dish. With chicken, you just uh, marinate it for ages in there. Uh, with the fish, you chuck it in quite late, so because otherwise it'll fall apart. Uh, quite easy, yeah. but um, yeah, highly recommend. Um, if yeah, if you don't like pumpkin, try it with fish, yeah. and maybe like a white fish, like cod, or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean that's it. Uh, that's the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Get down to this event. Yeah. That's me. Ultimately, this isn't just about us now making good food and teaching you recipes. We want to promote this as well. So yeah, get to this event. 13th of November, Antigua. It's gonna be a good one. And if he dies of food poisoning, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> the Ukrainian coming out, isn't it? <laughs> got a nice full bodied flavour to it. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to cut that bit there. That's got all the extra starch in it and stuff like that. Just throw that away. In the sink. So I'm going to put coriander. Uh, God, fucked up. It's not coriander. <laughs>